The Hill Cities campaign has been very accessible to Commerce City. Any of the tools they have in their toolbox, we can call up and get and use in Commerce City. Quite simply, collaboration is how things get done. And what we've found in Commerce City is that collaborating, whether it be with our residents, with our businesses, or even with other agencies, is why having the HEAL campaign is so important. We successfully passed a 1% sales and use tax increase with 54% of the vote in November of 13. That's really given us a great foundation to not only construct new projects, but operate and maintain them well into the future, which is a key component uh, that our residents want us to take care of what we have. One of the, the surprises that I saw was that our economic development part, department was really excited about it. They began to tout our involvement in HEAL to prospective uh, businesses locating in the city because generally businesses like to locate in communities that invest in health. A healthy community means healthy employees. I think the best way that the HEAL campaign has helped us is to serve as a reminder that we really should be thinking about our health. So when we started looking at some things that we could do to promote health with our employees and also with the people that are visiting our various facilities, one thing that came up was that we had these big displays, these big vending machines that had soda and junk food in them. With the schools taking up the healthy snacks guidelines, we decided to just go ahead and change our vending. You know, from a business sense, I was a little leery and thought that there would be drastic uh, loss in revenue and sales. It's proven to be a very positive experience and it's opened a lot of doors. The Hill Cities and Towns campaign was one part of that whole process of looking at where we want to go next with improving the well-being of our community.